Hey guys, Livy Damien here, and here's why most guys have stopped dating women in 2024. Most men feel invisible to women and dating because of so many reasons, but I'm only going to touch a few, on like a couple in this video. And it's also mates that they feel like, you know, I do understand where they're coming from and it's not like they're not being heard. Dating apps and social media have given the women unlimited choices in my opinion, and guys have almost no choices. So it causes them like basically like to have anxiety with any girl they meet or have any chance because they're too afraid to screw it up because they won't get another one. And this all starts from guys having, you know, we were in a society where guys approach first, so they're gonna message you first. So when you have uh, women only getting messages from guys and women rarely message a guy or hit on him, unless I'll get later in the topic, unless they see him super attractive, they'll go after him they almost get nothing and then when they do get a date set up or an app or in person because women have so many options the woman's not really going to be feeling it as much in case if it goes wrong because she has other options versus the guy is nervous but this also has a dark side from the women's perspective because they've been approached so much by creeps by weird dudes so i get it from that side i use this example with my girlfriend so basically imagine you are at a grocery store and i told her we had never met we had just gone out of the grocery store and i had told her hey do you remember let's say we're not dating you never met me do you remember what the guy looked like that just handed you your bag of groceries she said no and i told her that's how most 90 percent of guys feel like they never even get looked at or noticed by anybody versus on the other side if a woman just shows up most guys notice her and she felt really really sad about that because i said you know like that's how life is for most guys and i've been there i have felt that when i was super young where you just don't get noticed and it's because they go after older men because of not all but in regards older guys do have technically ability to have more fun because they make either more money or on a different status level than compared to some young guy working at a grocery store this is the my most interesting one that i always like to think about is that guys nowadays walk on eggshells when it comes to asking women even trying to help them or hold the door open it's kind of got to the point where because yes a lot of women have been attacked by creeps and so many things have happened basically anything you do they think that you might be trying to either get with them get their number hook up and you can't even like hold the door open or even tell her have a nice day because she thinks you're trying to hit on her and also it has led to basically where guys anything they say like i understand the feminism movement and it's all great you know we want all equality for everybody but you know when we only talk about feminists and i understand dudes have had it for the most of the majority but i believe that skill has kind of tipped now where a guy can even be like yeah you know i i agree with everything you're saying and i want to be masculine too and that's looked down upon and another thing that i've started to see and i've heard from a lot of women is they are afraid of being feminine or saying like you know maybe i do want to be like a stay-at-home mom or stay at home with my kids for a couple years those things are looked down upon because they're not like chasing the bag getting a career and guys they can't even like say anything about masculinity and be like you know i want to do something that grows my masculinity versus like somebody that might a girl is much more open about girls rule f men how many times you go outside and you just hear f men or men are trash men are shit but guess what it's kind of like both men are shit and women are shit because 90 percent of them are shit and people don't realize that basically if you have such a vicious cycle of where women constantly say men are shit what do you think that happens to the guy who never gets a date or gets one he's gonna get there and the girl's gonna be like yeah i've been telling every guy he's he's shit they're shit all men are shit what do you think the guy's gonna be after he's walking on eggshells nobody's seen him he barely had a date he's just gonna start agreeing with that men are shit and then he's gonna say it out loud too with everybody and it is very difficult in my opinion for guys to really grow out of that non-seen zone of like i would say 90 percent of guys that are never seen by anybody or heard and i do feel for them and i know how it is there and it is a very very lonely place because you almost have nobody to talk to and it's hard because the guys who do make it out of that are widely successful and it is just even worse when you start comparing yourself to them i believe it's like i would call it masculine epidemic where there are no more masculine men there are no more real gentlemen because of this vicious cycle for them to even be able to speak their thoughts to a woman without being attacked or being told when they're in high school that you know men are shit or you can't if you're trying to approach all women yes i do understand from the creeps perspective of bad experiences but most of the time like i've even had it with my girlfriend where we've had people ask her if she's okay because we had done some like construction work we were a little bit looking raggedy and they thought that you know she wasn't safe 
But here's some advice before I close off the video. If you're one of those dudes that are very, very unheard and lonely, I know it sounds counterintuitive, but you're going to want to spend some time with yourself and figure out who you are and the path you want to create and take some time and create steps on how to get the exact life you want to live. Guys, live you Damien, browse the catalog. We're having, we're adding weekly videos, daily videos on dating, life, and whatever else comes along. Cars coming. Make sure you subscribe to support the channel and I will catch you guys in the next video. It's my time.